Good afternoon. Today we are going to be talking about the Tupperware Cold Brew Coffee Carafe. Now this is it. Um, this is uh, a carafe that's used for making exactly what it sounds like, cold brew coffee. So it's a real simple product. Um, it comes with three parts. You have the lid, you have the carafe, and then you have the filter. So the filter too, you can also see it's got uh, different markings on the outside of it. That makes it easy to uh, uh, put it so that you can put in the right amount of coffee for the strength that you want. Um, but it's a real simple product, um, but and it has a lot of great benefits with it. Um, so one of the best things that I like about it is when you brew coffee cold in the refrigerator, um, you actually have a uh, much more fruity flavor to your coffee. Um, you can taste a lot more of the coffee bean itself. And the reason that is, is when it's brewed cold as opposed to hot, it doesn't uh, allow as much acid to get into your coffee. Um, so uh, it doesn't pull that acid out of the bean. Um, so when you go to drink it, you get a lot more of the flavor of the coffee, um, which is really nice. And especially if you uh, deal with acid reflux or anything like that, you don't have to worry about that coffee causing you as many issues. I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to use it. It's a real simple product. We just take the lid off here. This is a lid, not a seal. It just sits on top uh, to keep it covered when it's in the fridge. It does not seal up um, because um, even though you want it covered in the fridge, you still want the coffee brewing process to uh, allow it to breathe properly um, during that process. So what we're gonna do, we're adding our coffee. Um, and you can do uh, coarse grounds, you can do regular grounds. Um, they, they advise that you do the coarse ground, but we found that the regular ground coffee works perfectly fine in it too. Um, we, that's what we use in it um, because, well, coarse ground, coarse ground coffee costs more actually. So what we're gonna do is we filled our coffee up to this first line here. Um, the reason we chose this line as opposed to up here all the way up at the top is if you do it to the first line, then that means that when it's done brewing, it's going to be ready to drink right away. If you do up higher, that does a concentrate. So you'll actually need to uh, add water to it as you're, as you're pouring it out of the carafe so that um, you don't get uh, too much of the... Uh, coffee it'll be too strong um, that, if you do it that way um, and don't add water um, so the next step is exactly uh, what we we're just talking about as far as filling it is we got to add water to it um, so we're just going to take our water here and we're gonna pour it right in and you can see it begins the process already so it's a real simple product to use and you literally just fill it all the way up so we've got a little bit further to go here there we go we got it all the way full now and then we put the lid on it and we're gonna put this into the fridge um, for between 8 and 16 hours it depends on how strong you want it um, so that's another way to adjust the strength is uh, the amount of time you leave it uh, brewing in the fridge so yes, it takes longer than a hot brewed coffee. You gotta, you gotta prepare it the night before uh, for the next morning, but um, the benefits of it are far better. And uh, one of the questions that we get with this, or, or comments I should say, is I don't like uh, to drink iced coffee. Well, this is not iced coffee that you're making. This is a brewing process. The cold brewing process is different than having iced coffee. So the, if you, if you brew it cold, you can still have it hot. You just have to pop it in the microwave and uh, heat it up afterwards, but you still get all the benefits of having it brewed cold. So once it, cause once it's brewed and you remove that coffee out of it and then heat it up, you're not pulling any of the acid out of the, out of the coffee um, as you heat it up because it's not sitting in, the water's not got the coffee sitting in it at that point. So, the cold brew process is different than iced coffee. 
Um, and thank you very much for watching. I'm gonna I'm gonna pop this in the fridge, and then uh, we'll have some good coffee tomorrow. One of the other questions that we get with the cold brew coffee carafe um, is, can I do tea in this? Um, and the answer is simply yes. Uh, you could do tea in this as well. Um, all you do, you can either do loose grounds, uh, the same way you do with the coffee in here, in the filter, or you can even do um, the tea bags themselves. So if you want to do the tea bags, you just drop this in, toss the tea bags in here, or you can even leave it out if you want and uh, just put the lid on and allow the tea bags to be loose in there. I prefer to do it through the filter because it's easier to take it out that way. Um, and uh, then you have your uh, flavored teas, um, your uh, your uh, loose teas that you you want to make, and all, all that stuff can be done right here in the cold brew coffee carafe, just like the coffee is.